Welcome to another demonstration of developing with the, for the Android, iPhone, or iPad using Corona. Uh, this will be the last in a series of demonstrations that have all involved the Hello World type project. And on this specific demonstration or tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to change the orientation for device change. So when you rotate your iPad or your iPhone or your Droid, the text changes its uh, angle or direction to correspond to the orientation of the device. So let's get started on making the necessary, necessary changes to our code. So I've got my Hello World uh, from the last project where I added some sound to the project so that every time we click on the button the device will beep. Now I want to go ahead and add this orientation. For that I'm going to need to add a new function and a new listener. So let's go ahead and start with the listener. I'm going to add a runtime listener and we'll add our event. And this is going to be looking for an orientation change. And we're going to call the on orientation change function when that occurs. So on orientation there we go and now we'll go ahead and add our function so I'm going to create a local function on location change or sorry on orientation change and of course this is an event and we'll need to calculate the new angle of the device. So again, I'll create a local variable and we'll call it new angle. And we'll set this equal to the text object's current rotation and subtract the events delta, which will give the new orientation. So uh, telling the object how much it needs to rotate and storing that rotation in the variable new angle. And then we'll just simply do a transition to transitioning our text object and have this do this fairly quickly. We're going to have it do it over just a few milliseconds. Uh, we'll set it equal to 150 milliseconds. And then we'll set the rotation equal to our new angle. Early bracket, close parenthesis, and we should be ready to go. So I'll save my document and we'll come up here and do a relaunch. And I've got an error. So let's figure out where that error is. So you can see here, oh, I forgot to add the keyword end to my function. A silly little mistake that we can take care of real quickly. We'll do a save and relaunch again. There we go, there's my hello world. And let's have the hardware orientation change. So I'll rotate left. And as you can see, it did rotate there. And my button still works. Again, I can do another rotate. And now it's upside down. Keep rotating, we eventually get back to our original orientation. So as you can see, it's very easy to add rotation to or orientation change to any type of object. 